namaste evening yoga session or yoga after work so let's start um, have a little drink before um, before you start um, your um, yoga uh, especially if you just finish your work okay so up and all four you can turn your knees wide just, just be starting up or you can keep your knees hip width apart so I'm going to keep my knees hip width apart and we're going to go on to a child pose or a balasana and you just completely relax here and just rest and let just let the body relax let the body become comfortable on its own time just rest the head just relax the back of your neck let your arms relax let your shoulders relax um, some people sometimes they keep their hand like this and just rest their head like this now this is um, also good and you can always do this one as well if you uh, if you feel comfortable so whichever place feel comfortable for you that's okay? so just after work and so much energy so much life force so much we give to our work to our life so this position to recover our energy and also bringing a blood flow towards our brain this pose also helps to lower your heart rate lower your blood pressure start feeling the shift start feeling start feeling the difference in your body so feel the breath becoming dense and you becoming calm you becoming relaxed and feel that that, that rush of blood towards your brain is like a um, like changing from that old blood to the new blood so your brains are filling up with energy you feel you buzzing up with the good energy with the life force now spines are becoming relaxed your stomachs are becoming relaxed you just stay there for a little while let me teach you a little more relax those eyes just close your eyes have a faith you feel all the senses are becoming alert you're becoming calm you're becoming comfortable and you're becoming neutral natural again it doesn't matter uh, your day was busy or or easy or a stressful well, just just become comfortable just become normal just become you again okay so let's just come back on all four feet and knees staying hip width apart hands under the shoulders and just slowly start connecting to your spine looking up chest up and breathe out curl your back feeling good feeling comfortable let's do a few more breathing in looking up chest up And breathe out and curl your back feel that life feel a good spine healthy spine breathe and look up chest up and breathe out curl your back slowly bring up your energy breathe and looking up chest up and breathe out curl your back let's do three more make your spine more comfortable more relaxed easy open and let's just curl you back breathe and look up chest up open up your spine roll your shoulders back lengthen the front of your neck open your chest and just curl you back slowly last one inhale Imagine you already started feeling relaxed, you started feeling calm, you're feeling comfortable. Okay, so knees are wide, feet are staying close, sit back again, rest the head again, arms are forward. Same thing again, you can just relax your head on one side and after a little while just relax on the other side. 
just imagine how it's sort of end of the day. Uh, yes, we are going to we are going to do some exercise, going to move, but just imagine you you sort of it's a sort of a, a break time for you from this position. You're resting yourself, so feel like you're keeping your head on one side, so that's sort of helping you stretching your neck as well. And then just go turn to the other side. I'm going to go quiet. You just enjoy the music or just listen to your breath. Feel you making your breath more and more comfortable, more and more supple, smooth, soothing. And feel like your mind and body is sinking with your breath, like becoming all becoming one. And you are celebrating and now the moment and just enjoying yourself okay let's just come back on all four i'm going to face you now um, we're going to do the next stretch threading the needle okay so it's a really it's a great stretch for the back in the chest so i just lift the right arm breathe in look up chest up and i just breathe out and turn so rotating the spine Inhale up and every time try to open up a bit more. Exhale and turn. Inhale. All through your nose. But if you're not feeling comfortable breathing through your nose, you can breathe in and out through your mouth. But the moment you start feeling comfortable, go back to the nose breathing again. Exhale. Reach a bit more, inhale, exhale and turn. Last one now. Let's just exhale and all the way. This time it's just like trying to stretch a bit more. Let's just lift your left arm up, all the way. Looking up to the ceiling and let's just lift and reach that left arm above your head. Stretch that arm long, holding here, and just keep turning your head to stretch your neck. Inhale, exhale. Deep breathing. Just two more deep breaths. Beautiful. Okay, so come back, bring the left hand back first, and then just push onto your left hand. Come back on all four. Give yourself a time. Pull the shoulder away from your ears, and stretch your neck long, pull the tummy. You see, um, all day we sort of take orders, we do things. Imagine you're not taking any order for me now, from me. So you're just doing it for yourself. It's just uh, we are yoga buddies. Um, we just both doing the yoga together, okay? So don't feel I'm forcing, so just feel your body, feel your breath, feel yourself when you're doing this session, okay? So now just lift the left arm, inhale, and exhale and turn. Beautiful, inhale, go again, turn. with your heart and soul. Exhale. And, and feel like every movement, um, you're beautifying the movement, instead of making that movement nice. And just two more. Like uh, expressing your body, expressing your happiness, expressing yourself, expressing the person you are. Exhale, like a signature, like an autograph. Turn a bit more. Let's just lift the right arm up, looking up. And reach your right arm above your head. Stretch, looking up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. 
deep breathing. Feel with the each inhalation that stretch. Exhalation is opening. Three more breath, breathe in deep. Breathe in deep. Last one. And just come back now. One or four. Let us sit back onto your heels. You're going to child pose. Feet and knees staying hip width apart. And if you're not comfortable, you can always turn your knees out. Okay, so it's, um, you see where your hips are feel more comfortable. Head down. Now this time, let us reach or stretch both arms to your right side. Feel stretching the left side of the spine. Breathe and breathe up and lengthen. Sort of feel like you're reaching your hands towards your knee as well. And to the side. Deep breathing. Deep breathing. Last one. Let's just come back to the other side. You see, mostly um, people use that sort of dominant, dominant side or strong side. And what happens is the, the spine gets sort of out of shape, out of balance. So what we're doing is we're balancing our spine. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Keep going. Breathe in deep. Last one. Bring your arms back to the middle and let's just come back on all four. Good. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, in this stretch now. We're doing a chest stretch especially. Um, you see people um, have a sitting job in front of computer for lots and lots of people. Um, I don't, but still look, you know, I, I'm standing all day, so hands are like this or curling. This part get tight, uh, but lots of people slouch, um, driving, lots of jobs these days. So it's really good to open up a chest uh, before we go to sleep, because that sort of helps to open up your heart. Okay, so right arm here. All I want you to do is keep that arm straight and I just turn that shoulder, that right shoulder towards your left. And we're looking on to the left there as well. And then just keep pushing that shoulder down and breathe and breathe out into your right shoulder and your chest. Inhale, exhale. Keep that arm straight and not trying to go further like people, they go down like this, nothing, they're achieving nothing. So what we're doing is we're trying to turn more and more towards the left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Let us come back now. Nice. Okay, let's switch now. So the left arm. Keep that arm straight and keep turning and looking to the right side. Good. Keep your arms straight. Breathe and breathe out. Uh, some people say, oh, I'm feeling on my bicep as well. So the biceps gets tight too. So that's the uh, you're getting that stretch for the biceps, for the interior shoulder, for your pectoralis, major and minor. So it's really good stretch for the entire chest. Keep breathing deep and keep turning your shoulder. So not trying to touch the shoulder down to the floor. It's a turn, it's a rotation you're doing. Just one more. 
Mm, beautiful. Very good. Okay, so while we're here, let's stretch our wrist, our fingers, uh, because they're working if, if your uh, job is uh, sitting in front of computer all day. So this is a really good driving computer, all the jobs. So we're just looking after a wrist. So what we're doing is we're turning a hand like this. And then we're turning the elbows, aligning the elbows, and I push that, um, that heel of your hand down and I just slowly rock back and forward. Okay, so let's just do four more. Inhale, exhale, forward. Inhale, exhale, forward. I'll just do two more. Exhale, last one. So just hold as far as you can. It's just hold it there. I'm cheating, my hands are going up, so I'm just gonna stay here. Good. I'm normally not that tight on my wrist, but um, I'm feeling tight, so I'm just gonna stay here. Very good. Okay, so from here now, what I want you to do is just come forward and bend your elbows as far as you can. You might be feeling stretch on your wrist and that's what we're doing. This, um, now, if you can't do this, this is okay. Don't worry too much, okay? So don't force too much. Okay, and I just come back now. So just sitting on um, Thunderbolt position or Vajrasana. So just grab your right hand like this and then just do a little traction on your wrist. Just turning and let's switch. breathing good shake your hand now uh, counterbalancing this stretch so just the left hand staying here I want you to just stretch one arm at a time one hand at a time good same thing again not not forcing too much we are stretching the wrist not forcing too much breathe okay let so just give a little break um, now this is get very painful people um, have a tight forearm or tight wrist and just keep breathing now see if you if you feel comfortable you can do both how about going back and forth gently not forcing too much as much as you can. Just two more. Last one. And let's just rest now and relax. Good. Okay, so um, just two more stretch here. I'm just going to turn this way just to show you. Okay, so let's just bring the right arm down like this first and then the left arm here. So arms are here. I want you to look up. Now, this is to open your thoracic, also stretching our lats and stretching our shoulders. So just keep looking up, open up your chest and keep making your back concave. So you lift that tailbone up, lifting the hip and then just stretching back. Keep looking forward. And this is again opening the chest, opening the thoracic, opening your posture. Um, we don't know, um, well I say, um, I say we because um, these days lots and lots of time we're spending in front of screen so always a head down. So the neck flexes, the front neck muscles get tight. So we're looking forward, we're stretching and also we opening up thoracic so it's really good for our posture okay come back now and I just leave the left arm there and bring the right arm over now same stretch and go back look forward and keep stretching breathe in breathe out not forcing um, not pulsing not bouncing just hold the position 
and you deep you keep deep breathing one more breath nice work you're doing really good okay let's just sit back on your heel once again you're going to do the downward facing dog my favorite lots of people um, I always ask my students what pose they love or they like they always say downward facing dog but my favorite is uh, um, cat and cow simple okay now hand to shoulder width apart Turn the shoulders slightly away from your ears. Sort of feel like both arms are strong and long, straight. Pull the shoulder away. Good. Now take the right leg back. Take the left leg back. Feet are staying hip width apart. Spread your toes. Now now just exhale. We're going up. Don't worry, your heels are not touching. Try to keep your legs straight. We're just going to hold on to this position today. legs are straight, align your hips and try to lift that tailbone up to the ceiling. There's another name of this pose called a mountain pose. Sort of feel like we becoming like a mountain and pull your tummy. You're sort of trying to stretch the spine, stretch your hips, hamstrings and your calves. And keep breathing. Lift the heels up, bend the knees and push your chest towards your thighs. And keep lowering your head down to the floor, keeping your arms straight. This is again a very good position, good pose to open up the posture, your thoracic and your shoulder stretch. Okay, now just lower your knees down, knees are wide. And now just sit back onto your heels, head down, rest. Okay, let's just come and lie down on your back now. Bend your both legs, feet and knees are staying hip width apart and arms are slightly out, palms facing up. Just relax your shoulders. Inhale, turning both knees to the right side. Head to the left slowly not forcing and exhale and back now some people try to go all the way it's like trying to crack the hips so if your hips are feeling like it's gonna get cracked don't force don't do a uh, pulsing or bouncing just let the body reset on its own okay so no clicking in the hips not trying to crack the hips and now come back inhale turn exhale and back slowly inhale turning and exhale and back four more exhale and back Three. Exhale and back. Two more. Last one. Perfect. Good. Okay. So let's just stretch both legs straight down. 
align your legs, feed the hip width apart, flex your feet, good, now let's just lift your right leg up and bring both hands behind your right leg, so stretching our hamstring. And keep your legs straight. Keep the legs straight and push that heel up towards the ceiling. Keep left leg aligned. Push the left knee down and keep the left foot flexed there as well. And breathing strong. Deep breathing. Okay, so slowly lower your leg down as you exhale. Now align your legs again, align your hips, pull the tummy. And let's just lift the left arm, left leg up straight. Keep the foot flex. Keep the right foot flex as well, and pushing that right knee down to the ground, to the floor. Deep breathing. Deep breathing. Last one. Okay, so now let's just slowly lower your leg down. Now, um, if you're not comfortable, we're going to do a shoulder stand, but if you're not comfortable, I'll show you a really good uh, position, legs up against the wall. So, uh, reversing, um, reversing the system, so that blood all day was going towards our feet, now coming down, uh, we're using the power of gravity, so we're using a gravity to bring that blood towards our heart. So all that toxins, all that blood was sitting. Uh, some people get uh, swollen feet and ankles. Uh, some people get varicose veins just because we sitting all day or wearing the shoes, uh, not moving. So that blood sort of stays. So what you can do, you can either do that position or either you can go up onto a shoulder stand. So it's very easy. You see, uh, you can always uh, uh, get someone help in your family uh, if you're not comfortable. So I'm not going to teach you, but just want you to just go up onto it. Just believe, uh, follow your heart. But in case if you're not comfortable, you can just, just place your legs against the wall. You can place your legs on a chair. Okay, so separate your feet, flex and point your feet. It's another very good uh, thing to do when we're doing a shoulder stand. Yes, we're stretching the calves. Also moving, helping that, that blood flow, helping the blood to flow good and shake your legs. You know, it's just such a good position, a good exercise, because your legs feel so comfortable. I can feel that, uh, that warm blood coming down towards my pelvis, towards my heart. Okay, so hold your legs. And what we're going to do is, we're going to do some bicycle here. 
relaxing the knees and hips. Let's do backwards. You can come down any time. You, you don't have to stay with me. You can come down whenever you feel you're done. Okay, five, four, three, two, and let's just come down slowly. Take your time. There's so many, there's so many benefit. Um, I'm doing a shoulder stand okay so both legs are straight down legs are wide feet turning out arms out palms facing up just relax your neck relax your shoulder just turning your head side to side while you're resting if your legs are or your feet are against the wall you can keep it there if you want or you can just lower your feet down whenever you're ready no rush it's your time we almost done our session so and just a few more little poses and I'll, I'll guide you for a relaxation okay so uh, let's point your chin up slowly just counterbalancing and bring your chin down once again point your chin up and bring your chin down and then just try to relax your head sort of feeling comfortable and try to pull the crown of your head back so you feel like you're doing a little traction on your neck bend your both legs arms are staying on the side feet are hip width apart knees and feet just slightly slightly wider than your hips good okay so let's just lifting the hips up slowly just gently slowly peeling your tailbone tucking the tail, squeezing the buttocks and lifting the hips up. Now, it's a, it's a back extension, but we're not hyper extending a back. As some people go all the way up. Uh, all we're doing is we're just sort of opening and uh, just go down slowly, just one vertebrae at a time. Close your eyes, point your chin up, slightly relax your shoulder. Then breathe out, peeling the tailbone first, peeling, peeling the sacrum, peeling the lower back, and just opening up. Push onto your heels strongly, lift your hips, and exhale, go down slowly. Normally, I say we say breathing in as we're going up. But what I do is I encourage to breathe out as you're curling, as you're peeling your tailbone. Now, breathe in and open at the end of the position of the movement. And as you breathe out, slow down back to the floor. Okay, so one more now. Exhale up. But do breathing as you like, your body feels, okay? Inhale. Push both of your legs evenly, your feet. Lift the hip. Now this time, let's just bring your arms under and interlock your fingers. Okay, so now, so squeeze your shoulder blades and reach your hands towards your feet and lift your hips up higher squeezing your lower buttocks raise your chest and keep lifting feel that stretch on the front body just opening push your heels harder stronger Okay, so unlock your hands now, 
and just coming down slowly again one vertebrae at a time very good okay so now let's just bring your knees to your chest knees are wide feet are staying close and just gently pull those knees try to relax your lower back calm and relax nice smile on your face almost to the end of our session feel relaxed feel calm comfortable bodies are feeling open you're not as stressed you're not as uh, uh, uneasy or, or tired you you're feeling good now you're feeling comfortable feeling happy feeling open good okay so both legs are straight down slide your thumbs and index finger under your buttocks now push onto your elbows and then raise your chest up and slide your head under. Point your feet and raise your chest up. Push onto your elbows to keep lifting your chest up. Matsyas and fish pose. To strengthen your hip flexors, you can lift your feet slightly the hip flexors and core or if you just want to do the chest opening the thoracic opening you can keep your feet down there's two more breath there just rest the head and uh, feet wide good Bring your both legs, bend your both legs, and now bring both knees to the chest. So keep feet, knees, hip width apart. Feet, the knees, hip width apart. Now let go of your lower back. So just try to relax your lower back, relax your stomach, and just gently pull your knees towards your chest. Counterbalancing the back, resting the spine, stretching the lower back, hips. Breathe in, breathe out. Let go. Let go all the tightness from your lower back. Let go. There's no struggle. It's just all resting. Relax. You're calm, comfortable. You relax. Now let just let your let go of your legs, so your feet down. Stretch. Your legs straight down, legs are wide, hands are facing up, arms out, relaxing, eyes are closed, calm and relax. Watch your breath. Feel your breath. And you start becoming comfortable with your breath. Start becoming aware of your body and the breath. Feel deep breathing in head to toe. Not small breath, a few deep breaths just to feel the whole body's breathing. Eliminating all the toxins, all the negatives, all, all the bad. Bodies are open, so the whole energy are moving freely in the body. Your brain, your mind is becoming relaxed, you're becoming calm, comfortable. Just 
let go and completely forget forget about the body forget about the the mind and the breath imagine you are you are you're a candle slowly melting onto your mat letting go not to be afraid not to be scared of where we go when we rest a lot of people hold on to this position or place I normally ask where you go when you sleep where you go when you sleep when you go to sleep or when you go to deep sleep you see what happened when you go to deep sleep your body become relaxed you wake up with more energy so just follow the same principle to surrender and let your body recover let your brain recover if you have any pain any sickness or any struggle you're facing just surrender to the god just surrender to the universe don't fight Don't guard yourself. Have a faith. Have a faith on the universe. And let the universe let the nature Do the job for you. Resolve your struggles, your challenges for you. You let go. Okay, that's slowly become aware with your breathing. Yes, become aware with your mind and your body. Tingling your toes, moving your toes, your feet, fingers, your hands. Now, if you feel like you you want to rest, you, you, you're completely relaxed, you just turn off the video and just go to sleep. <laughs> But if you want to get up and you have a few things to go do, um, you want to have a dinner, uh, just get up, sit up. Keep your eyes closed. Just rub your palms, your hands, and apply your palms onto your eyes with a nice smile on your face. Thank you. Namaste. I'll see you next time. Thank you.